guys welcome back to the channel for those of you who don't know my name is Chris Moore and then today we're in South Mexico boys yeah me and big country we're about to go blast these puppies off we are doing the first ever ride and test and tune on the all brand new Hyperbusa yeah that's right guys we have built a Hyabusa 2023 with a fully built engine turbo kit the whole nine yards this thing makes massive power and we're about to do some of our first riding and testing on it today to see how this thing does. It, uh, we did some testing the other day and the bike performed pretty well. And then we had bad wind for two days. So we haven't gotten to make any, what we would call full pulls with it yet. But man, from so far from what we've done, this thing is an absolute animal. I cannot wait to blast her off for a whole half a mile to see how this thing feels. Stay with us, guys. Here we go. This is going to be a fun one. Oh, and you know it. you got to click the subscribe button right now. You're going to want to follow along with this build series and see what this thing's all about. boys here we go we're waiting to roll up to the starting line here in just a minute and we're gonna blast these puppies off and see how they do coming up guys let's see how this thing does Pulling us to the left, boys. We gotta squeak it down just a little bit. It's definitely dancing a little more than we want. Let's try it one more time and see how the wind does this way. In. We're going to squeak her down just a little bit because when it starts to float the front tire, the bike is getting way too hyper and way too aggressive on that first little move. We'll squeak her down and see what she's all about. the turbo boosa let's see how this thing does this time we're going to try to hopefully we can hold it a half a mile wide open so the last time when it got to fourth and fifth gear it was 
was starting a wheelie as crazy as that fucking sounds. No matter what, the, uh, we got a bad crosswind today. I literally can't do anything with it. We start out in the left lane, and no matter what, she's wanting to go to the right. I mean, start out in the right lane that time, and no matter what, it's still wanting to go to the left. <sighs> it's frustrating. So, so with these bikes being known as the most aerodynamic bikes in the world, with the most fairings, they have the most coverage, so the wind is almost going to do more... If it's blowing, it, the bike is like a, uh, a flat panel, in other words, which is good if you're going straight, but when you're going into the wind with a crosswind, there's nothing you can do. her one more time I think we can just to get some data to be able to stay wide open that's the biggest issue right now I can't stay in the throttle I don't think it's right now we're not going to do it back her down try it again He's riding the ZX-10 for the first time. We're just trying to get a clean half mile hit on this Busa so we can see how much power she can put down. We know how much power it makes, but we gotta put the power down, boys. We gotta hold this thing in the road so it can do what it's gotta do. This is only like, the remember, the third or fourth attempt with it. So... fucking going somewhere wow spun the tire because i didn't get the we didn't get to do a good burnout with it that thing right there oh my goodness was making some steam boys unbelievable the way this thing feels you see it spinning the tire in literally like fourth and fifth gear i think that's what was able to give me the ability for it to stay stay in the road 218 218 kilometers or something like that whoa this thing is nutty oh my goodness boys and girls ladies and gentlemen boy wait a minute hold on how's that go boys and girls ladies and gentlemen people watching around the world this right here is a bad mother effort Woo -wee. And you can just crank her up, ride her around like it ain't nothing. Street bike, you guys, I put in some clips of me riding this thing up and down the boulevard last night, cruising the streets of Mexico like it wasn't nothing, boys. 
motorcycle to be sold so we're doing a lot of testing a lot of research and development and that's what you guys have been witnessing in this video so we're gonna reveal some of the numbers at the end and let you know what this thing performs like pricing all that stuff is to be announced soon we've got to figure out what we've got to add to the bike and what we've got to take or what we could take away from the bike like I said, a lot of stuff goes into this. It's not as easy as just buying parts and putting them on. Here we go, boys. Hyper Busa testing round five or something. I don't know. extremely well. Let's see how we can do with him. direction when we go the other direction on the road the thing does not spin Jesus she was moving out through there what do you guys think you ready to ride this thing or try it out Whew. what an adrenaline rush spun its ass off dude it literally was lighting the tire up me so goddamn fast. 6.51. Yeah, you were fighting. 3.39. It went 3.0. It literally spun its ass off, dude. 100, 152.72. I don't understand why it spins coming this way. Going that way, it don't spin none. Really? Yeah, it wasn't spinning any yesterday. You want to try it that way? Or you want to go back and let it cool off? I got to let it cool off. Yeah, that's fine. to an end. We, this thing has been so much fun. Cecil did an excellent job building the whole bike. Everything, literally, I couldn't ask for any better. When we dreamed up this idea, I was like, Cecil, you think this is possible? I was like, Cecil, do you think this is possible? And he's like, dude, I think we can build literally something beyond anybody's dream. And literally, that's what we've done. The thing worked good, perfect. Everything tested perfect. Anything, I mean, literally, I mean, 
made everything with, from start to finish on this trip for it to be its maiden voyage. I mean, we actually had no. zero hiccups. Yeah. But it, I, I will say for the guys at the shop that helped me build this thing, we put this thing through the paces kind of before Chris got it. So it, it came out here and we were super confident from the beginning. But I mean, I can't thank you and the whole your family for letting us give you this opportunity to run this thing and build this thing. It was, we really appreciate it. It's great. Out of all the adrenaline rush stuff I've had, like, I mean, I love that stuff, but I'm just like, this thing? What? I, I can't even, like, when you click fourth gear and you feel it, like, want to rip the handlebars, slam out of your hands, there's nothing like it. Yeah, it's well nuts. Appreciate you so much, man. Thank, man, you, guys. thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell, the notifications. Smash the like button. Check them out, HTP Performance on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. what that thing feels like. It's absolutely insane.